Homes live here with Bayut. Find your next home. Browse from over 200,000 listings for rent and sale in the UAE. Download the app or visit bayut.com. Talking real estate, Fibber Ahmed's here, Director of Sales to Bizzle and Bayut. Morning, Fibber. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks very much indeed. And a lot of people listening will be happy to hear that prices are stabilising in some areas of Dubai and even falling in others. What's the story? Yeah, some of them listening to this would say, finally, I've been keeping an eye on that. So um, interestingly, in this quarter, when we reviewed the numbers and we compared it to what has been happening towards the back end of last year, um, we've seen uh, that in the prime communities of uh, Dubai, as well as in some of the affordable and mid-tier communities, prices are beginning to stabilize uh, with uh, very little to no increase um, in areas like uh, Business Bay, um, in Palm Jumeirah. Um, these areas, they've been very hot when it comes to transaction uh, value and volume, but it's interesting to see that now prices are going towards somehow of a normal um, limit there and people can look at it and see that, okay, interesting, this is what I've been waiting for to see that if it is a hit a ceiling and is it going to come down or is it going to go up? So um, the prime communities are uh, showing stabilization. Interestingly, the communities that are uh, beginning to pick up are your newer communities, which are towards the southeast side of Dubai. Um, that's where a lot of interest is lying. And of course, when people move out from the prime communities because they've been priced out, demand goes up, which of course puts pressure on the prices. So what kind of areas are, are we talking here where that demand is migrating to? When you talk about the south and the east, I'm thinking things like the big Nishama town square development. I'm thinking out towards Expo and the new airport. How right am I? You're, you're spot on. You're spot on. You're getting to the right direction. Um, what we've seen is a lot of interest in the area of um, Nashama, the Kudra Corridor, when it comes to villas in uh, mid-tier and affordable segment. Uh, we've also seen a lot of interest building up in areas like DIP. Um, I was very surprised to see when I look at transaction volume and when I look at the lead volume, DIP was um, top of the board um, for mid-tier mid and affordable villas and your apartments. Demand let's let's talk about some definitions here. When you talk about mid-tier apartments and villas, let's take Dubai Investments Park, mm -hmm. your example. Mm -hmm. What kind of price range are we talking about? We're talking about close to a mil, 750k a mil for apartments. And when you look at your townhouses um, and villas, it's between 1.1 to 1.6 million in DIP. Now, yes, we can attribute it to the newly launched uh, project, um, Verdana, which has um, townhouses as well as apartments. This has really garnered a lot of interest um, in this uh, quarter that I've seen and people are heavily looking at it, inquiring about it, and the transactions also speak volume about it. Now, when I look at for John, which is a more stable community, that's where also a lot of demand is shifting to. Um, you see a variety of um, availability in apartments and again in townhouses. Similar price range. The price range is higher in for John primarily because it's a more um, centrally located, closer to Sheikh Zayed Road um, community. Also, it's been in the market for a while, right? So you get a variety of opportunities there. You can stick to a budget of, let's say, about two mil um, when it comes to decent size apartment in Furjan. And Furjan has seen good activity in that area. Let's talk about rents, because most people do rent rather than buy here yep. in the UAE. And you say in some areas, this stabilization, even decline, is affecting the rents. So people are driving to work or listening home and watching at home and thinking, okay, where, Fibber, where? <laughs> um, the demand uh, for rental properties, of course, has seen um, a lot of interest, especially now when we spoke about the reader calculator being reset. Um, I remember Brandy asked me last time I was on the show that has it really um, increased um, searches. We're still seeing the impact of that. Yes, there is interest in uh, rental communities. Again, people are preferring space um, over um, central location. They're willing to take um, commute into account. People are moving towards Town Square. People are moving towards for John area. Our John has um, seen a lot of interest as well. And this um, is for, for renting? This is for renting. This is for renting. Again, in the same corridor we're going to stick to. Again, well, so let, again, let's talk numbers. If we're talking about these communities, if rents are stabilizing, let's take your example of an apartment and a, and a small townhouse. Mm -hmm. Annual rent. Annual rent in... Um, let's say townhouse 
in a mid-tier community would be roughly about 140k and uh, we're looking at um, areas which are in your vicinity of the Mac Hills 2 which is actually cheaper than 140k and it would come to 115k whereas if you're willing to spend more money 142k could get you roughly a decent sized uh, townhouse in the Bailan area which is again on the corridor of uh, Kudra. Declines in rents. Is there anywhere that's actually getting cheaper to rent a home at the moment, Fever, either in Dubai or further afield in Abu Dhabi or the Northern Emirates? I would say that um, this is the time where you keep an eye on are people going to start moving to other Emirates? Because I do see a lot of stabilization, not a decline or not a negative number set against the percentage change as compared to other um, uh, previous quarter. However, I would keep an eye on that as uh, rental prices are going to go up because of shortage of supply, because of more people coming up. Yes, you would see some migration to other Emirates. In the past, we've seen towards the stretch, which is Dubai, Sharjah area, the Nahda area, that continues to get some momentum when people start to get priced out of a particular Emirate. I would summarize it in a way that people are shifting away from prime locations and they're going to more sub-communities or upcoming communities. People are even um, going um, all the way up to the valley, which which is um, on the Alain Road. We've seen a lot of interest coming up in the Valley area, which is again going to be in your mid-tier segment for townhouses. But that's houses. not built yet, is it? Some of the apartment uh, villas have started to be handed over, but it's in very early stages. You can see a few listings there, um, which are available for rent now. And I think in this year, you would see some movement in that area. 10 seconds left. Billionaires still buying villas on the Palm? Absolutely. They're buying villas on the Palm. They're buying at Bay Island. Uh, you name it, you build it, they come over. Um, lots of interest in the waterfront communities and of course the central location which is your penthouses in Business Bay in downtown. Nice work if you can get it. Fibber, appreciate your time as always. Thanks for coming in. The thoughts there of Fibber Ahmed, the Director of Sales for Debizel and Bayout. Thank you very much, Richard. Download the ARN News Centre app.